we're gonna be answering your questions. Is there a way to minimize pores? How to treat red acne scars? How to get rid of blackheads? Hi everyone, I'm Nicole. I'm an esthetician and I also run some skincare platforms called Comfy Skin. She participated in our Try Me View Me earlier last year. And we decided to meet up and film together. <laughs> we posted a story about what questions that you want to ask regarding skincare. So today we're gonna be answering those questions mm -hmm. while we're gonna do our night routines all day. Okay. Yes. Yay! Yes. Recommended toner for oily skin. Anything with a BHA in mm -hmm. it is usually good. I mean, the one I'm using right now, it doesn't have a BHA in it, it has AHA, so this mm -hmm. is probably more like dry skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually, I like this one that you're using. Oh, the Some by Me. Some by me. She's mm -hmm. halfway yeah. done. You're halfway done already. This is really good. I think it's a little too much for dry skin. Mm -hmm. Personally, I've used it. Um, but I think it's perfect for oily skin mm -hmm. and it has a mixture of everything. So yeah. it's just the dry and the oily. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So with combo skin too, I think can really benefit from mm -hmm. that toner. Definitely. The biggest uh, misunderstandings that people usually think is that they have very oily skin, but in real life, they actually have dehydrated, dehydrated. oily skin. Like for me, I thought I had oily skin, so I used a lot of products that for, for was for oily skin and yeah. it dried my skin out so much that it made more oil it made my face more oily yeah. and after that I switched to more like hydrating and more you know moisturizing but light toners so mm -hmm. none that is too heavy on my skin yeah. and that worked really really well for me that's why I'm using like this is from so good and it's so mm -hmm. so good it's really really like hydrating mm -hmm. and it's not sticky at all so I really really like it is it better to use full kits from the same brand or use different brands? I think it depends on what mm -hmm. you're looking for. Mm -hmm. I think if you have sensitive skin sticking within the same brand mm -hmm. might be better. Just because usually the brand formulates each product to work well with the other product. Mm. The more products that you use that are from different brands, the more potential you have for irritation. Mm. And that's really only if you have very sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. But if you want to stick on the safe side, use all the same products mm. from the same brand. I think if you have like knowledge about the ingredients mm -hmm. and you Definitely. Read the ingredients before you buy. Yeah. I think it's okay if you want to mix. Yeah, definitely. But if you don't read the ingredients, I think it's better to just like keep on with like one set. Yeah. As a line. It's yeah. the easiest way, yeah. I think. Okay, if you want to use a new product, should you rest on skincare for a week or not? I find that hard to do personally because I work at Stock Korean and I test so many products. But I will switch it out with the new product. Mm. So for example, I'm trying a new serum and I'll switch my serum that I'm using with that serum so that I can see um, what products work on my skin. Mm. Most people like will use a vitamin C and then they'll like switch it out and use another one and then they'll stop and they'll be like, I didn't see anything, but right. it's only been two weeks. Uh, yeah. And yeah, skincare yeah. doesn't work in two weeks. Yeah. Like it, Patient is needed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you at least give yourself a month to mm -hmm. really see something. Mm -hmm. And if you know you're not going to use it every day, mm -hmm. use it even longer to see the results. Mm -hmm. Like use it for two months, three months. Yeah. Like it takes a long time yeah. to see results. Yeah. So. yeah. Be patient, guys. Yeah. <laughs> no instant result. <laughs> is there a way, the best way to minimize pores? I think you have a, you'll have a lot of opinion on this. Yeah, I really like this question because there's really no way to like minimize or right. your pores aren't doors. Mm -hmm. They don't yeah. open and close. Yeah. There's one thing though, usually if you have oily skin, actually the oil like within your pore can distort the shape. Mm -hmm. And so getting rid of it with like a BHA, like mm -hmm. the toner or some by me, it can get rid of the oil and make it come back to its original size right. or its original mm -hmm. shape, which can create the illusion of shrinking Smaller your pores. Mm -hmm. So I guess if like you're looking for that, you can use a BHA. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, there's not much that you can do to shrink yeah. the size of your yeah. pores. It's Unless just, it's like laser treatment or something yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Right. So you guys heard it from the <laughs> pores expert doors. herself. <laughs> pores don't open and close. <laughs> How to treat red acne scars. Mm. There are different types of scarring. Mm -hmm. So like some people who have had like cystic acne, mm -hmm. which is like deeper acne like underneath the skin. Right. You could feel it. Yeah. Um they get like pitted scars. Right. And pitted scars are Hard, something that's treatable with skincare. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And that's more like professional laser mm -hmm. dermal rolling right. that you should get done at a at a clinic professional. esthetician. But for like surface level scars, like um 
post-inflammatory like mm -hmm. hyperpigmentation like if you hit yourself by accident like mm -hmm. you fall down like you mm -hmm. have a scar mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um that could be treated with things like you can chemically exfoliate that away right aha's are a really good way to brighten your skin mm -hmm. um because they sloth off the dead skin which mm -hmm. brings up new skin mm -hmm. how to get rid of blackheads <laughs> uh, biggest question. My, it's also one of my concerns, but I tend to use BHAs on the area that I have blackheads only. So here mm -hmm. and here. I feel like yeah. people who don't really know about skincare, they like pop the blackheads away, which is like really dangerous. <laughs> yeah. So here's the answer for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Use BHAs. Yeah. Don't really yeah. know. If you about use pore strips, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people think that it'll like take it out effectively, which yeah. it, it might. It might. But it's because it's damaging your skin barrier so much. It's, it's like yeah. you know, like ripping off a band aid. It could make your strips. The area I think that you're a lot of using people think that, that it'll like take it out oily. effectively, which yeah. it might. Because you're damaging it your barrier. But because it's more damaging your skin barrier so much, it's like you know, like you're ripping off a band aid. Then you'll have more blackheads. I think a lot of people are really good because you're damaging your barrier. The most that I feel like vitamin C in skincare doesn't work for me. So I think it can happen. Some people, their skin is option not to get rid of vitamin. See, there are so many really options that we mentioned just now. Okay. <laughs> so, with the that you can use on your skin that might work. That's why you should not be just rely so, on Jay or like watching a YouTuber and following yeah, yeah, only one on person that might work. Yeah, so I just like we mentioned just now. We all rely on different skin type, like watching a YouTuber and following the skin only one person. Yeah, and like look into like the types of vitamin C that are suitable for your skin. There are so yeah, so many derivatives. I would talk to an esthetician about that or a derm and be like. Which one do you recommend? What's more effective? Mm -hmm. um, this is a type of skin, or this is a type of scarring that I have mm -hmm. that I'm trying to get rid of. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's only able to get rid of through like procedures like laser. Oh, yeah, Sometimes. that's true. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we hope the questions that we answered you were helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Nicole, for coming. Yeah, thank yeah, you for having me. So yeah, much. and then we'll probably see you in our next video. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>